if you're worried about AI content and AI detection, this video is for you. Firstly, the last time I made one of these videos, I got millions of comments saying I should use GPT-0. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. So logically speaking, by doing this, which I'm going to show you in this video, you're achieving two things at the same time. You're writing better content, which will lead to better impressions and better clicks, but you're also future proofing that content. Something that's not really talked about enough on YouTube is the fact that nobody really knows what Google is going to do. Like there's a big question mark over SEO. Like everyone always talks about this and they instantly say that AI content is going to be fine because Google creates content with AI, et cetera, et cetera. But like, who knows what they're going to do? They might give a barrier to their search generative AI thing. They might say that anyone, any content that is produced by AI will not be considered by as I've talked about before, their search generative experience, SGE, is most likely going to take precedence at the top. I didn't, I probably didn't say that word correctly. At the top of Google. So if they effectively ban, like, I'm not saying they're going to do this, by the way. This is just an example to take into consideration. What if they ban anything that was created by AI going into their AI? They could do that. Not saying they will again, but they could. So it's all up in the air, it's, it's a question mark. So if you produce something that can pass AI detection, and honestly, the thing I'm gonna show you in this video, I've talked about it before, it's stun spot prompting with my prompt, but the, the output is so good, it, you really cannot tell that it was written by AI. So let's talk about why this might be important. So I'm gonna say write an article about Let's put on 3.5 about black tie attire for men. So something that's something that's, that's really worth mentioning here is if you are just doing what I just showed you, which is using 3.5 for free to write an article like this, I've done this loads of times. I always use this example and it always looks exactly the same. This is already risky in the current state of the Google algorithm. So if you're doing this, and people have told you that this will rank, then that's wrong. This will not rank, okay? Maybe you could get it to rank for like really low competition keywords and build a website based on really low competition keywords. That's probably possible. But generally speaking, this kind of content just comes out looking exactly the same every time. I wouldn't be surprised if this was um, already written somewhere on the internet. I know that it's generative AI, but like by this point, there's probably so many people that have done this on big keywords that it's no longer going to be unique content. But also if we put this into GPT zero, which again, some people say doesn't work. Some people say it's the only one that works. I don't know. I'm not an expert. It actually comes out as written by a human. I did this all day today, okay? I was testing this and it repeatedly said AI. So obviously when I decide to make a video, it says human, but generally speaking, this will say AI. Um, maybe on bigger niches, cause I mean, I feel like our niche is really, really, really good. <laughs> I feel like this is an amazing niche to be in, especially for content. So I did a more general article. I just did one about meditation, run it through again. And it says your text may include parts written by AI. Anyway, these testers are nowhere near as sophisticated as what Google has. This is probably like, I, I think people are probably right when they say this doesn't necessarily work, but what Google has, they can definitely tell. And I did experience this. I know a lot of people say that the content that I released on Two Men where I wrote 17 articles in a day that it was for other reasons, but I genuinely believe it was because it was flagged as AI. So again, the process is join the stun spot discord. And then I think you have to do something like show all channels or something. I don't really know how that works. They added that feature after I had already joined the discord. So I'm not sure how to do it, but they are free. You do not have to pay to use these, um, th these ones specifically. 
So yeah, shout out to Stunspot again for working on this specific con. This is what I really, he, he really understood the assignment. I've got to say, like, I really, really wanted something that just produced amazing written content, kind of like my own personal journalist. So you can do this in a number of ways. You can actually use um, the playground as well. So I think I'm going to use the playground this time because I haven't used it in one of these videos yet. It does exactly the same thing. You can see I am using GBT4 right now. Um, I'll run another one side by side with 3.5 just to see how 3.5 does. And yes, 16K was released today, which is it's nice, but I just I don't like 3.5 enough to be excited. What I really, really want is GPT-4 32K. That's when I'm going to get excited. That's when I'm going to be absolutely loving life. But yeah, we'll run these two together. You can see already that there's an emoji missing on 3.5, which is a little bit worrying because that means often that it's not going to do the right thing. But then what we're going to do is we're going to go to my prompt from a video that I made recently. So this is the prompt. Uh, you can find the prompt in the description. I'll leave it in the description. And it's it's very similar to the one that I showed everyone in a very recent video that I made. Just in case you want to watch that video after this video, it's, it's this one here. It's literally the last video that I released. It's uh, a really comprehensive guide on how I made this prompt and what the logic is here. But they work really, really well together. So stun spot with this at the same time. But basically, this just has my brands. You need to add a lot of context. And a lot of people say that this is pointless because why don't you just write it by hand? But this, if you've ever written a lot of content, like millions of words, you know how useful it is to just be able to edit some components of the article and then just press hit go and it will just generate an entire article. So I do a lot of research. I add my own keywords. I get these from Google Ads Keyword Planner or Ahrefs. And then I just have internal links at the bottom. And we're just going to go and we're going to add message. And we're going to press submit. And because I'm making a video, this is going to not work 100%. <laughs> add message. This is 3.516K. Let's see how this does. Oh, it's actually... It's giving it the markdown. It's not doing... So what 3.5 tends to do is it does this thing where it doesn't do internal links until right at the bottom. I don't know why. I've, it literally says in the prompt not to do that. It says um, make sure to use links throughout the entire article. However, this content does seem to be... There's some internal links. Thank you for finally putting them <laughs> right at the bottom of the article. Stay tuned and stay tuned. I don't know if I like that, but it said that twice. So we'll take this because this is uh, probably the limit that you can put into um, GPT-0. So we'll go to Markdown to HTML to make this plain text, which is just a bit easier to work with. And then we'll go to GPT-0. And we'll say get results. And it does say by human. Perfect. So I just want to show you this content, okay? Because it's super, it is super, super interesting. However, I, I will mention now you do need to do some light editing sometimes because it does some, it, it takes the prompts very, very literally. So you can see here that it's, um, it's just added a link to markdown to html.com, which is not what we want. However, this generally is fine. And just look at the quality of the content. I really think this makes like really, really unique content, which is the kind of stuff that I would strive to write when I was writing, but I never had the energy to do it. To do this consistently for, you know, like six or seven articles a day. I, I, I was writing three, four, five articles a day at one point, 2,500 words each. And yeah. It's, it's draining. It really, really drains you. So I just, I really like that you can still create amazing content like this. Like the creme de la creme of polo shirt brands. Look at that. Beautiful. And then what I do is I just embed. It's also, look, you can see it's put links throughout. There aren't really many at the top, but it's linked to the brands, which is kind of the reason that I do these articles is to grow the brands on Google. It's not, I don't even write these blog posts necessarily to grow 
the blog, although the blog is growing like mad. I'm actually doing it to grow these other pages. So we added a lot of new pages recently and I want to get them ranking as quickly as possible. So that's the main reason I'm writing all of this content, but it's just ranking really, really well on Google anyway. So we'll put this through and we'll see what it says. Please register an account. Hmm, no. <laughs> Don't make me use incognito. Come on. Let's all be, we're all friends here. Ugh. I really hope this is going to work. Please don't. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, it's working. Oh, it's not. Okay, so what we're going to do is you guys are going to tell me. You're going to leave a comment and you're going to run it through. And you can tell me whether it passes or fails. So the last thing we are going to do is we're going to see if... Uh, the article that I wrote on this, the exact topic that I just showed you is indexed or not. I did not submit this, so... Oh, maybe I did submit it, actually. Yeah, I did submit this one. It's going to be indexed. For those of you who do not speak Italian, that says uh, you, you, you can find this URL on Google, which means it's indexed. If you're curious if this kind of content is ranking on Google quickly, I will show you a sneak peek into what is happening on this website. Yes, it does have authority before 50,000 people comment that this uh, website already has authority. However, I did help build that authority. I have been here almost three years now. Like, give me some credit. It's kind of annoying that people say that. And I do also have two men, which I built from literally nothing, which is getting 150 clicks per day, which after seven months is pretty good. It's not... It's not astronomical, but it's definitely way above average. So, yeah. This is one that I wrote. I, uh, yeah, this used the exact method that I showed you in this video. And after one day, it has 21 impressions for some pretty nice keywords. And I have very, very good confidence or high confidence that that will rank even better. This is another one that I'm... I'm sure is going to rank well. I, I just feel like the keyword research plus the writing from GPT is just really, really good. But you know that if it has impressions after one day, 13 impressions, it'll be more than that. It is more than that, you can see. Two, four, six, yeah, it's, it is more. Um, this is the kind of content that is currently just popping off for, for iSuit. Thank you for watching, guys. I wanted to make this video because I don't want people to just make 3.5 content or even chat GPT-4 content without considering that it's not going to rank well if they don't make good content, first of all, and also second of all, it might not rank well in the future because of AI, you know, detection, etc., etc. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with some more content and peace out.